Hey guys, it's Christina and I am here with Lana Wood. How are you? Exhausted. Exhausted. But you've, I'm had here. A, yes. you've had a very <laughs> busy day. Well, it is a privilege to talk to you oh, today. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you, know, you. Of course. And I know that we are we are talking about it's been 37 years since your sister yes. passed away. Yes. So we are talking all about that and also the new podcast that is um, all about the, the case. And it is yes. Fatal Voyage, The Mysterious Death, Death of Natalie Wood, hosted by Dylan Howard. It's fantastic. And it's really uncovering things that it, we've never learned before mm -hmm. and, and a little bit of the backstory as Good. well. Yeah, Good. no, and you get to understand who Natalie was as a person and mm -hmm. who you are and things like that. And I think it's just fantastic. It's great. So, I mean, does it feel like it's been 37 years? It, oddly enough, it feels like forever yeah. and yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, no, I'm At sure. At the same time. At the same no. time. Yeah. What's it been like kind of rehashing this? Um, it's never pleasant. Yeah, of course. Um, it can be upsetting, mm -hmm. and um, but it's it's part of something that has to be done. No, definitely. Do you yeah. feel like you, the more that you talk about it, the more attention that it gets, and maybe the well, more that, it'll yeah. Go yes, ahead. that's that's what's important mm -hmm. to me is first of all for people to remember Natalie and mm -hmm. what she contributed. Yeah, and secondly to see if anybody can step forward at who knows anything mm -hmm. at all. It's got to be would be wonderful. So incredibly frustrating that nobody will step forward and say what happened that night. Well, well there have they been. have two they new have, right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Two new witnesses. Two new so. witnesses. Yeah. yeah, that's that's exciting. Mm -hmm. That is exciting. Yeah. It's got to feel good for you, almost like a, a kind of like a weight lifted off your shoulder a little bit. Well, it's it's a dim light in the distance. Sure, let me put it that way. Yeah, no, definitely. Can yeah. you take me back to that night, thirty-seven years ago? Sure, come on. Yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll you? take a walk. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what was that experience like for you and your family? I mean, it had to be just you mean unimaginable. hearing about yeah. it when. Mm -hmm. Um, well, it was very odd. I could not sleep that night at all. I was up before you even more, knew. Yeah, I okay. knew nothing. I, mm -hmm. I was I was up and down and up and down mm -hmm. and finally gave up and went into the kitchen to make tea and my mother was awake and mm -hmm. I'm like, well, okay, let's do this for a while and we sat and it just I, I just felt very unsettled mm -hmm. and finally a little after 5 a.m. I fell asleep to then be awakened by one of my friends who said, Natalie's dead and they mm -hmm. found her body and I said, you're crazy. Yeah. And I hung up on her and she called back again and, um, you know, said, turn on the television, do, you know, do something. No, this is what's happening. And it just became bizarre yeah. after that. Mm -hmm. um, I got dressed, people start coming over to my place and um, my mom's blood pressure went through the roof, and uh, I don't know. It was just it. It was a, it was a madhouse. Mm -hmm. It was just absolutely a madhouse. It's almost like you had you and your mom had like a intuition that something something because yeah. oddly enough, when I fell asleep is when they found her body. Wow. Yeah. That's so crazy. Mm -hmm. And you know, you said, which I thought was really interesting, that you've only listened to the facts about this. You've had absolutely. A, and I mean, did that? I mean, I can't imagine for myself. I would be running through all these different scenarios in my head, trying oh, to piece no. things together. But you no, never no. did. I can't. Do you can't. That. Yeah. Oh no. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have that kind of time. I don't have that kind of energy. Mm -hmm. um, I, I said before, and I'll say again. I I don't dislike. RJ, I don't mm -hmm. hate him. I don't wish anything bad upon him. I just want the truth. Yeah. I want all this to stop. Mm -hmm. You know, to stop. I mean, in your opinion, why do you think after all this time he still won't come forward? And because he has two contradictory stories. That oh he has yeah, told. So, he contradicts himself right. as well. Yeah. Everybody picks on Dennis Deverne, the skipper, right. saying that he contradicted mm -hmm. himself. So does RJ, but nobody says anything nobody says about it. that. Yeah. And so why? that's not fair to Dennis. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel very badly for Dennis. Sure, but why? Why don't you think he is coming forward and telling his truth? I tell you what. Why? What do you think? Why do you think that he does not come forward? Okay. Why would you not do that? Because he's got something to hide, I guess. I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. 
Exactly. Yeah. Do you, is it frustrating to you that police have not taken a more active role in either arresting him or questioning him more? Uh, he would not, he will not talk to the he police. He will not talk to the police, yeah. He will not under any circumstances, and he lied to me to my face mm -hmm. and said he had spoken to the police. No, he hasn't. Yeah. He's never spoken to them. Mm -hmm. um, am I angry with the police? No. no. They, they traveled to Colorado to talk to him. They mm -hmm. went to his home out there. They've done everything. He refuses to speak to them and has always mm -hmm. he has never spoken to them and won't and but now that the case is reopened do you think he's going to be forced no in? since the case was since reopened, the case is reopened he yeah. has not spoken and to them at all <sighs> refuses it's got to be so un overwhelmingly overwhelmingly frustrating for you it's bizarre to it's me it's bizarre yeah it really is you would think at this maybe this stage in his life you know, he would want to... Well, how about if he is perfectly innocent, which is what he says, mm -hmm. then why isn't he talking to the police? Right. Yeah. Then talk to them. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth. How about, wouldn't it be great since I never got a phone call saying there's been an accident? I never got a call. You never how got a call from him, right? No. That's, that's crazy. How about, tell me the truth. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened. Right. Well, because you would also think that if your loved one fell overboard you wouldn't just leave I don't think so you wouldn't yeah no mm -hmm. I, if my dog fell overboard I'd be in the water yeah I mean in your opinion what do you think happened that night they had a terrible fight and mm -hmm. he either pushed her or threw her or let her and left her mm hmm do you blame everybody that was on that boat that night I don't blame anybody, don't blame anybody. it's okay. just it's it's the way things happen mm -hmm. it was just part of of her life mm hmm what was your relationship like with RJ afterwards I I've never been close to RJ okay uh, I can't say that I ever was mm hmm and perhaps it's my fault but my attention was always to my sister sure so when we were together it was because the two of us had something to do or somewhere to go or something we wanted to talk mm -hmm. about and it was not really actively including RJ okay what was their relationship like that you remember I, I, I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. I yeah. wouldn't know. She, she never talked to you about Be any high, problems? No. no. We yeah. didn't do that as a family. Okay. Everything. We did not mm -hmm. ever speak to each other about anything terribly personal. Natalie was in therapy. She spoke to her therapist. Okay. I was in therapy. I spoke to mine. Um, we never discussed anything with our, with our mom or dad. Mm -hmm. And um, they never wanted to. Sure. I remember as a young teenager, coming home being very, very upset about something of the utmost importance, which is probably I dropped a pencil or who knows what, mm -hmm. nothing. But crying and trying to talk to my mother, and she said, I'll tell you what, we'll go out and we'll, we'll buy you a new shirt. Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't want a new shirt, I want to talk to right. you. But she no. wouldn't and didn't. So that was sort of ingrained in our family, I'm sorry to say, mm -hmm. but we didn't do that. No. It just wasn't your dynamic. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. What was your opinion about Christopher in all of this situation? I believe everything that Dennis said. Yeah. Is after RJ broke the wine bottle and started screaming at Christopher, he excused himself, went to his bunk and locked the door and went to sleep mm -hmm. to stay out of, you know, their marital problem that sure. they were currently having. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's nothing else to think. It's just so mysterious to me that, like, because the, the boat wasn't gigantic. No, I've said that. Right, it's you've not said gigantic. that. So, like, you would, yeah. hear, you, you would hear a fighting. You would hear somebody. But there again, why are you going to interfere right, with between somebody a husband and wife? Right. No, that's true. Why would you do it? Mm -hmm. Do you think that there was ever something going on with Christopher and Natalie or I Christopher? Have no you idea. have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely none. What What are you hoping happens next? <sighs> I guess that, that the truth comes out, mm -hmm. or that RJ stops saying untrue things about Natalie. Yeah, I would really like that. Mm -hmm. But what do I hope for? I don't know. We'll just see what happens. Yeah. I don't know. What was their children's opinion about everything? I don't know. You don't know. Mm -mm. Yeah. I haven't seen them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know relationship. No, no. That's, and I know that you said that you did confront 
Robert, you guys have mm -hmm. spoken. When is the last time you spoke to him? That was it. That was it. Yeah. Okay, and then I will. Not, I will not speak to you him. You will not again. speak to him no. again. Even if he, no. if he comes forward and is like, okay, I'm ready to speak. You wouldn't. Yeah, and yeah. Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. And <laughs> right. You betcha. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Has this case haunted you for years? Yeah. Yeah. Always will. Mm -hmm. Always something that you think about. Yeah. With just the loss, not the case. Right. Not the mystery, not the what if, not if the what do you think. Mm -hmm. The loss. Yeah. What's your favorite memory about your sister? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I don't know. There are so many. Just shopping, just going out and girly things, walking down the street in Beverly Hills, going into a restaurant, sitting at La Scala, eating cannelloni and chopped salad. Nice. <laughs> just <laughs> silly things. Yeah. Silly things. Going to the dermatologist together. Right. And Natalie goes full makeup, and I'm like, what? Right. Yeah, you know, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you said that too. Like, she wouldn't have been going out without, you oh, know. Oh, never. Full, right. Oh, fully mm -hmm. dressed to the nines. Dressed to the nines. All her makeup on. Mm -hmm. Perfect. What is something that you would like people to know about her that maybe would surprise people? I have no idea what would surprise them. Really? No. <laughs> Anything that she liked? Any of, like, her little quirks? Things like that? She liked clothes and she makeup. Liked clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And she was a wonderful mom. She was a wonderful mom. She was a mom. wonderful mother. Yeah. yeah. Is that something that she absolutely loved? It's something that meant the world to her. It's yeah. something she always wanted, and it's something that she cherished yeah. very, very much. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Lana, thank you so much for You're coming welcome. by and talking to us all about this. I You're know welcome. it's probably not easy for you to do so. So we really appreciate your time. And uh, make pleasure. sure to everybody to download the podcast, Fatal Voyage, The Mysterious no. Death of Natalie Wood. It's fantastic. There's a new episode that is dropping this Friday. Good. So thank you so much. You're very welcome. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.